What's up guys? You are watching Bob's Decline. I've been a lineman on the east coast of Canada for almost 17 years now. Today we're going to be looking at a new product that I've anxiously been awaiting and that's the High Grip Extreme from Highline Utility Supply now available in mitt style. So if you've been a fan of my channel, you've probably seen last year, I released a video doing a review of the High Grip Extreme glove protectors. Right here, this is my old pair. I've always been a fan of rubber mitts myself, so I was real excited when I found out that these mitt protectors are now available. Since I did my review last year, there's actually been a few changes to the High Grip Extreme protectors, both the glove and the mitt style. You can see here, they're now officially FR rated. So let's first take a quick look at their website at the bullet points indicating the new features for fall of 2019. These gloves are now officially arc rated according to ASTM International Standards up to 28 cal and ANSI cut resistant level 2 across the entire glove. So one thing I won't be doing this time is ruining my brand new gloves. If you check out my last video you'll see where I actually took a knife and sliced open my glove. When the knife cuts through the silicone, the Kevlar lining prevents the damage from extending through to the inside of the glove. There's actually a Kevlar lining in between the silicone grip and the leather, so I'll put a link below to my last video where you can see this Kevlar lining in action and how it actually protects your rubber gloves from getting damaged should they get poked with jagged wires or cut using a knife, skinning, anything at all really. I also set them on fire. I took a torch, Burn them up. Let's see how resistant the gloves were to heat. The silicone reacted very little to the flames and self extinguished very quickly. They did their job, they protected my rubber gloves that were inside them. You'll see in the video where I set them on fire. We take a look inside the glove, and the inside of the glove actually was not burnt whatsoever. They've also changed the nylon adjusting strap to leather for an enhanced durability used to be a nylon strap. It is now changed to a leather strap. And my favorite part, the improved thumb design. So the first thing I noticed when I opened up these gloves is the thumbs. They nailed it. One of the biggest problems I've always had with my glove protectors is the thumbs. This is one of my old protectors here. Now see the end of the thumb, how it's got that little bit of excess material there. Once that gets broken in, it only gets worse. That excess material, no matter how tight I pull those on, you can see my thumbs at the end. There's always that little bit hanging over the edge. When you're trying to work with small washers and stuff, that always gets in the way. First thing I looked at when I got these new high grip extreme protectors was the thumbs and boom, couldn't believe it. The thumb perfectly fits my rubber glove. There's absolutely zero excess material on there. It's got a wicked stitching design in there to keep everything fit and snug on my rubber glove. All right guys, now that we've had a quick crash course on these new High Grip Extreme mitt protectors, let's put them to the test. So we've got these things dirty. We used them for, I think about a month now. I've been using them. You can see here, durability wise, they're holding up pretty good as far as wear is concerned on the palm. I mean, they're getting a little bit dirty, obviously, working with Penetrox and stuff out in the lines. But I'll give you a real close shot here. All the stitching and everything is faring out real well. Still, the thumb, it doesn't have that loose floppy piece of leather on the end of it. Same with the fingertips. These gloves are a little bit stiffer than some other brands I've used where they have the silicone and the extra padding on the back. After you wear them a couple times, they break in quite well. Most times when I'm wearing my rubber gloves, I wear the mitts. There's not any real particular reason for that other than it's what I started with back 17 years ago. I was given a pair of mitts. I stuck with them ever since. 
these three fingers, I don't really need them doing hotline. Typically doing a lot of this with nuts and bolts, a lot of this with sticks. I like the mitts, super glad these are finally available in the mitt style. Another great thing about the mitt style over the glove is sometimes we'll actually wear a little liner inside the glove. With the glove style rubber gloves, when you wear these liners inside, it gets a little bit too tight on the fingers. With the mitt style, take that glove in the winter time, keeps my hands a little bit warmer. Inside the rubber glove, it's a tiny bit tight on this finger. The rest of the hand, these three fingers, wide open, super comfortable, makes it for great work when it's like, well, like today, minus 30 with the wind chill almost. She's cold. All right, guys. So if you do want to order your very own high grip extreme mitt protectors, I will include a link below. Don't forget, they are still available as a glove style protector as well, and both models will now be of the latest design. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching one of my videos. Make sure you head on over to my channel, Bob's Decline. Consider hitting the subscribe button and check out my new playlists available. We have Being a Lineman, where we're following along with actual real life trouble calls. You might learn something. And we have the Lineman Quick Tips, where there's short two, three minute videos showing tips to help make you a better lineman. See you next time.